Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're at the lovely Four Seasons Resort in the mountains of Bali in the Siam Valley next to the town of Ubud. This area is renowned for its rice paddies and healthy uh, food culture and is one of the must-see places for people looking for um, uh, sort of great um, Balinese food. So today we're actually going to take a cooking class um, where we will learn the basics of Balinese food as well as a bunch of uh, vegetarian versions of it. And um, this is going to be uh, an absolute treat. As we arrive at the um, resort, basically we walk across this lovely um, bridge and the hotel is entirely beneath us, so we're actually walking into the top level here. Um, and uh, next we'll, we'll go ahead and, and, and see the, the, the wonderful pool. Now, it's down in the valley here, uh, next to the Siam River, that the actual training venue is going to be. Uh, I'm really excited about this. This is going to be wonderful. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really, really, really excited. The second thing I want to point out here is the weather. Now, we're up in the mountains here. So uh, it's going to rain fairly often here. This is actually really important because uh, Ubud within, um, within Indonesia is well known as sort of being uh, a famous area of Bali for its rice production. Um, this is something which this hotel, uh, as you'll see in a moment, uh, really tries to preserve as part of their aesthetic. You see rice patties all over the place. Um, as we're still here up at the top, um, I'm mostly commenting on the weather because you can see it reflected in, in this lovely pool here. Um, but uh, as we get as we get down, and we see things. You'll go ahead and you'll get a chance to see that uh, um, that in fact there are rice paddies down below, like you know near the actual guest rooms themselves. So here you see the rice patties in and around the guest rooms and the villas, and we're actually at the Sokasi restaurant where we'll do the training class. You can see the various uh, garden plots where they grow their own spices, everything from ginger, lemongrass, galangal, and uh, some spices that we can't really find uh, very well outside of Indonesia. Um, but at any rate, this is uh, quite an interesting uh, venue. and. Uh, And here is our instructor, okay. Lee Johnny, the chef at the Sokasia restaurant. For the first thing that he shows us, he will show us the traditional method of coconut oil production within Bali. You can see the bubbling of the oil has come up, but I'm going to show you the process making coconut. So, first, from the, this is like whole coconut. More older, more oil you will get. If you, are, if you buy the one in the supermarket, it's without this skin. So when you make coconut oil, you need to have this skin. More oil will come out from this skin. Okay. But if you want just to make uh, uh, coconut milk, so you can remove this one, so the color of the milk is white. Like, so it's uh, different. Like this color. Yeah. This is yellow. This is the green one. Even the yellow one, when it's getting old, it will be the same like this. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, we use the green one. And just grate it like this. But this is like a traditional way how we grate it. If you have a brainer, strong brainer like Vitamix, so no need to grate it, take long time. Put in small piece, put a little water, and then you get milk. But this is the way we do before in Bali. But be careful with the finger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is uh, steel. Yeah, I've, I've done a lot of um, Lithuanian cooking, and you do that a lot with potatoes. And you will, uh, if you're not careful, you will hurt right. your fingers. You're done? Do you want to try? Yes, okay. <laughs> uh, do you want to try? Just a little bit. But once again, it just slowly, slowly. Yeah, this is But if you use blender, very easy. Yeah. But people in, in, in the village, they don't have 
kind of kind of they still do it like in traditional way. Yeah, I don't have a wonder, believe it or not. So people still use like uh, we do like the same how Balinese people to do. Like we use tulapan, the spoon grinder. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna make uh, all the paste and sambal in, in this spoon. Oh, like right? Yeah. Yeah. I have one of those. Though. Yeah. Okay. We feel more tasty, uh, like uh, if you compare, like uh, our food process. Yeah. It's like to make a paste, that's what I'm gonna explain if you have a food processor. It's easy, but uh, this is different. So when I when I make rendang, it's always using the right? And it's because... Hey, do you know, if you make rendang with this one, yeah. it's sound right? Yeah. Are you, you make it this one? Yeah, yeah. I take, I take, well, I take this and I, I roast it. Ah, yes, it. yes. And then I grind it and I grind it. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, you do cooking a lot at all? Yes. Okay. Yeah, the reason I want to uh, video it is I do a cooking channel on YouTube. It's not ah, a okay. It doesn't have a... Later on... You just need to take the oh. bubbling. You see the bubbling? Yeah. Ah, we're gonna separate like this and then put in the new pot and reboil one more time. Okay. Then you get oil. But the process first is like this. Like grated coconut yeah. and then put water it. and yeah. then strain it. Mm -hmm. But you cannot make only with one coconut and you get the milk. At least you make like a 5, 7 or 10. Yeah. So you get like 1 liter. Yeah. So depends on how, how old is your coconut. So more older, more oil you will use. Lee Johnny's uh, discussion of how to make coconut oil from coconuts has in fact helped me understand perhaps ways in which I could produce a coconut oil uh, suitable for Balinese cooking at home. I'm sure that'll be a subject of a future video as I perfect that. So back in the kitchen, we have all of the delicious uh, seasonings that are going to go into this absolutely delicious meal. Um, pieces for the base uh, that we call genep, uh, bits for the sombol tama, and for uh, all of the other delicious ingredients. These will be ground, of course, on a traditional Indonesian ulek ulek, which is uh, sort of a very large mortar and pestle. Uh, in some of my other videos, you've already seen me use one. Uh, okay. Here we will see the proper technique with uh, with the uh, light. Ginger, light. aromatic ginger. Uh, this is the one. Okay. And basa wangen means black pepper, white pepper, cloves, coriander seed, nutmeg. The one inside. So this mix together become basa ginop. Okay. okay. It's candle nut. This one. Yes. Yeah. No candle nut. The cloves. First up, sauté okay. lily. This is the, the paste, coconut, coconut, grated coconut, almost the same like coconut, the one we grated, mm -hmm. but we toast it first, right. or roast. And then this one, uh, Balinese lime leaves, oh. this is the leaf, this is the fruit, Right. you use both. And then fried shallot, mm -hmm. fried shallot, sugar. And coconut milk. Mm -hmm. Salt. Okay, mix this one first. You can grate it more fine, this one, or this mm -hmm. size, it's, 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 so it's okay. So you mix everything together? Um, the paste, the, this one, the shallot, the right. juice, sugar, yeah. salt, and then mix. And then you mix that in with the beer. Oh. And you leave the uh, you you even leave the uh, lime peel on. No, no, this one just later on we, we okay. remove this one. Okay. Just to keep more flavor. I think this finish enough. Really. Yeah, later on we can leave it again. Next mm. up, ikan pepes. Sliced tomato. Kemangi, Balinese basil, mm -hmm. lemon basil, the leaves, the fruits, and oil. I put salt already. But if you want to get more spicy, you can add the. Uh, uh, I will add the uh, chili later on. So mm -hmm. you just mix this one. And then we're gonna wrap 
in banana leaf. And again, the basic is this one, the paste. Actually, like one paste for everything. Very easy to learn Balinese food. Mm -hmm. As long as you get all the fresh ingredients. So Balinese food is not the same like uh, Indian. It's the same ingredient, but they they use more powder. Right. They use more fresh ingredient. Like they use a lot turmeric, coriander, all everything fresh. This one is very popular even in Indonesia, pepe sikan. Mm -hmm. Banana leaf. This is matter. Here you can go. So then it's rolled up and folded over and stapled or? Yeah, and we're gonna roll it now. Okay. Okay. Do it like this. Roll it. And then... Roll okay. it like this. And then... Okay. And then we're gonna stick it. Ah, okay, I see. Just to close it, because mm -hmm. we're gonna put on the bread. That the piece is not going out. And then do like this. Next we have a grilled chicken marinated in Balinese seasonings and tomato sambal. If you have like more time, so two hours or three hours before mm -hmm. you grill it, just keep first and then Ooh. you grill it. Yeah, the uh, great great as a marinade and yes. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Last we are making a long bean and coconut salad. That's a very, very thick coconut milk. Is it like the first yeah. pressing or is it, it... This one, I use a uh, Vitamix blender. Ah, okay. Without the skin, without this skin, so the color is white. But right. if you use uh, this skin, the color not will come out. So if you have to make uh, coconut milk, you can remove this skin. But if you make oil, mm -hmm. then you can use this, this skin. So I stir? Yeah. Five And this is the... Veggies. Uh, what do you call it? The long bean yeah. and bean sprout. Long beans, but it's cooked already. You boil it already. Okay. So when the sauce is ready, you mix, and then you just mix inside. Salt. Then all the food was grilled. These wonderful cooking classes have taught me a lot um, about Balinese cooking and given me a greater appreciation for this particular Indonesian cuisine. I am very sure that many of the dishes that we've cooked here uh, will in fact make their way into videos over the coming weeks and months.